The flipped classroom is often seen as a situation in which students do some online work, which is typically through viewing video segments, which could be prepared by the lecturers or from the internet, taken from YouTube, whatever. The idea is that they go through this material and they get a decent understanding or at least familiarization with the content knowledge for the topic being studied. So that when they come to the classroom, they're in a better position to get more actively involved quicker and apply that knowledge to more meaningful um, real world um, context. In fact, though, uh, apart from videos, other resources can be used. Podcasts, simply video without the moving picture. Uh, do you really need to see my face in this screencast? Yeah, not really. Um, okay, other documents, it could be a slide, um, Word document, a website to refer to. In fact, anything that will support the learning outcomes effectively, efficiently, and will work with the student group in bulk. And finally, a lot of e-tools now enable online quizzes and activities. And what this means is that students can be checking their learning as they go along, getting some feedback, and doing some work in preparation for the classroom session. Now, as we know, um, the in-class face-to-face -face component is focused towards the building of perhaps deeper, more comprehensive understanding and applying the learning in more meaningful real-world um, applications. However, it's often essential, first of all, to deal with um, areas of confusion or misconceptions because if a lot of the students haven't really been able to work with the online material, and this could be your design or the students themselves, but the bottom line is, if they're pretty confused, um, it's not going to be easy to take them into a more application uh, mode. However, if that works out, then you can use uh, a range of active learning methods, cases, discussions, small groups, whatever is appropriate to the learning outcomes that is going to get participation and some good thinking. Because we want the students to be able to analyse, compare and contrast, make inference and interpretations, evaluate, to build good understanding which they can then apply practically to the real world performance tasks, often referred to as authentic performance tasks, where they're actually solving real problems and developing, hopefully, some competence in doing this. Now, is a big reinforcing point that to, to do this in-class stuff really well does involve good facilitation skills. And this is an area that's often um, noted for professional development because if you don't facilitate effectively, the, the classroom component may not work very well and actually could be a little bit of a mess. So, got to bear in mind that a number of things are important here, that the learning design itself needs to be well done. And this is going to be looked at in um, the next episode. Because if the design is not good, both for the online and the face-to-face, -face, the thing isn't going to work particularly well. And if it's not facilitated well, um, then that can create serious problems for the learning process. So there's a lot of skills involved in good blended learning and a good flipped classroom, both at the level of design and teaching and the ability to facilitate well um, in these contexts. So that's the key basic frame.